Hello and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. Today we head west. Our destination is the palace and grounds at Radziowice. Situated about 40 kilometers west of Warsaw, the palace complex is a haven for artists and a welcome spot to retire to the countryside for travelers. It's a complex of classical residences surrounded by a park. And it's been a cultural center since 1965. The Radziowice family first built the castle in the 1500s. During the palace's heyday, it was a residence to various kings of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. During the 17 and 1800s, the Kraszynski family gave uh, the complex its present look. And currently, the castle and the complex are visited by writers, columnists, actors, filmmakers, musicians, and visual artists. So come along and let's take a look at the Radziowice Castle, Palace, and Grounds. The weather's perfect. Let's go for a walk. And watch Poland Daily Travel. We're glad to be here for you. Well, if I were working on my next book, which I am, I would like to have a place that's quiet and secluded. It's not quiet right now because they're mowing the grass, but generally it's quiet and secluded to work on my book. Writing a book, composing music, yeah. uh, growing these beautiful roses, uh, just you, spending time in here. We're going it? out and painting. You can go out and paint in the open air here. You know, as, as, as Mr. Krasinski was, a friend of the artists. It's a wonderful place for the artists. All these cute little windows, all these plants climbing these beautiful walls. Medieval castle connected with no classic palace. Yeah, from this, from this side, you can really see the medieval castle part. And uh, uh, against the blue sky, it's really beautiful today. I, it's now all it's, it's missing is a beach. Now it's, <laughs> now it's my duty to take all the guests from Warsaw in here. Yeah, you have to. It's, it's half hour yeah. drive, and we look what a comfortable place, and it's not too big. This is going to be one of my destinations for visitors from now on. And if they want to have a nice day out and, and come, because guess what? It's also a good place to, to have a, a Polish meal. Yeah. Can you see these tables? I, I prefer this to Zelazowa Wola. Zelazowa Wola was good, but it's like it's supposed to be this sophisticated and refined place for listen music only. But this, look, can you see these tables? Can yeah, you, they look very inviting. <laughs> can you feel this? Can, I can. I can smell some cooking. Well, I think I that, that, that TV should be improved with smell ah, one day. It smells day. like dessert, if doesn't they, it? If, if they could smell... What um, we can smell right what now. What we can smell right now. They'd be very tempted, wouldn't they? Uh, it, it, they must be having a party whatever, whatever advertisement would go at the moment, it would be like a very good one. Do you think they're having a party here tonight or something like that? Mm, okay, let's join it. Let's you be a part to... of it. Let's say that we are the host. I am Mr. Krasinski and you are my gardener. What, are we your gardener? <laughs> I am Mr. Kra Thank, you, thanks for the promotion. I, I am Kant Krasinski <laughs> and you are Kantes or no? You can tell him I have a green thumb. <laughs> you have a green thumb? Yeah, that, in English that means that... No, it doesn't mean I am ill. It means that I can grow things very well. A green thumb. Ah, it means okay. I'd be a good gardener if I had a green thumb. Okay, so maybe, so maybe they grew something tasty that they will prepare for us today. Yeah, we're gonna. I think we should sit down and have something to eat. Yeah. What do you think? Have some good Polish food. See what they got here. No, you are talking to the right person. Yeah. <laughs> now I can be your gardener. You like eating because <laughs> we ate. We eat almost every time. Yes, because we go somewhere with you. Because we work hard and we practice Polish food hard as well. We practice the. Uh, uh, we we study the Polish cuisine, right? Okay. Well, let's sit down. Let's sit down and talk about it. Yeah. Look at these beautiful chairs, like little masterpieces. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> Why not? They're comfortable. Good. Poland Daily Travel. We're going to order some food and uh, take a break here in the beautiful gardens of the uh, Palace Radziowice. So. Radziowice. Radziowice. As simple as that. It's so easy for you to say it. Have you, you must have studied Polish for a long time. <laughs> like all your life. We are safe when we travel, no one understands us. 
<laughs> Unless we say pierogi, yeah, then they know. Yeah. Then they know. Or kielbasa. It's Polish. Or, Maybe or kielbasa. kielbasa. Yes, this is when they know for sure. Okay, stay with us. We're gonna order some food. Hello, everybody. Um, as you may have noticed in the previous excerpt, uh, before that uh, tidy bumper, uh, we were sitting down to uh, uh, decide what we we're going to have to eat after a uh, long morning and early afternoon, uh, working ourselves to the bone, working our fingers to the bone. We haven't actually, but uh, nonetheless, we're hungry, aren't we, Arthur? Yes. And uh, as I said before, you always like to eat when you're a guest on the show. So what do you think? What do they got here? Well, I cannot stop looking at homemade pate served with horseradish and cranberries. Are you going to get it? As an appetizer, they also are presenting us lentil stuffed dumplings served with butter or salad mix with blue cheese and balsamic sauce. And how about classic beef carpaccio with arugula, olive oil and parmesan cheese to finish this arugula. mini okay. appetizer list with beetroot carpaccio with goat cheese. Mm -hmm. Which one would you have? Instead of having an appetizer, I will have a soup. Oh, you're gonna have soup? Yes. Yeah. And uh, so chicken soup is most traditional Polish thing or chilled beetroot soup. If that was much warmer mm -hmm. than right now, then we would go this direction. Uh, but cream of green vegetable soup is also an option for... Vegetable soup or soup? Soup. Soup. <laughs> Check it, Google. Let, let, ask, me, ask me to say Radio, radio Bort. Uh, Radziejowice. Radziejowice, yeah. yeah. Radio, what is it? Zoop. 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 I don't know. I don't know. At any rate, uh, so you're going to have, uh, we're not going to have, you're going to have soup. I'll have soup too, I think. That's I'll a have a soup and, uh, and uh, I will have a cod. Today they have a cod. Oh yeah, uh, I see. But what, they, what do they have? They have they have cod, and they have goose fillet, and they have beef cheeks mm -hmm. with horseradish sauce again and cabbage and potato puree, which is mashed potatoes basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I'm gonna have beef cheeks. I don't know why. Th th they can be beef. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But it just sounds good. So, so today you are going for beef ones, right? Well, I th yeah, I think so. Okay. And, uh, what? <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> How about roasted turkey leg with pearl barley and Polish fried beets? Well, fried beets would be good. Mm, beets are but, all over uh, the place. I'm thinking... Beets are all I'm over. I'm thinking that... I'm thinking beef cheeks, because I know that that's a speciality in Poland, and uh, it's liable to be very good at a place like this. Yes? Look what's coming. Good afternoon. Is he listening to us? No, we already ordered the we soup. We have our zoops. We ordered the zoop. Our zoops coming. Thank you yeah. very much. This was a setup. We already knew what we were having, but we're just going through the menu to We pretend. knew what's coming. We just wanted to tell yeah. you what's down there. In fact, they told us. Short they, list? <laughs> exactly. Short list? Yeah. So they know what they do. Mm-hmm. They, they have just few options and all of them are tasty. That's the good quality restaurants thing. Yeah, and it's all Polish. It's all Polish food, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, whether you get the, the, uh, the fish. What did you get the fish? So the gentleman told us about the fish. It's not in, in menu. It's not in the so, menu. So, so this is what they have today. It's always good to ask what they have today. But what, do you, what did you order? Cod and... Uh, the fish. And, yeah. Yes. Dorscht. I, Dosh. In Polish and cod. So maybe let's English. let's take a look at desserts. You're gonna have a dessert? No, I'm not going to have one. This is what I smelled the apple pie. That's what I smelled. No, cooking. apple pie is an obligatory Polish thing. Then warm mm -hmm. cheesecake with raspberry mousse. That'd be good. Okay, maybe I will have a dessert. You're gonna have that. Uh, and there is Neapolitan ice cream, free flavor. Well, that's uh, uh, vanilla, fruits. chocolate, and strawberry. Surely. Neapolitan, right? Surely. Surely. So it's like... Don't call me Shirley. So it's like Italian flag. Mm-hmm. Right. No, it's not. Red, white, and chocolate? That's not the Italian flag. Oh. 
No, Neapolitan ice cream is Choc stra on, chocolate on, strawberry on leaf chocolate and is green. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay, folks, stay with Poland Daily. We'll be right back. We're waiting for our food, uh, to taste our food. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode uh, with me and Arthur at the palace in... Radziejowice. Radziejowice, I say. Radziejowice. I like to roll the R. As easy, as easy to say, see? Mm -hmm. As it's easy to say.